Those colonos are confusing as fuck. So, this guy's called Big County, and his name should be Liam something. He is a deputy with him. Our suspect? Yeah. Zone. Well, is our suspect Nine. here or yeah. somewhere else? Suspect is supposed to be here with, a, with one victim. Another victim left and went to 9505. And then we can follow him. The problem is that. And I guess they were all at a party here when it happened, so the caller took the one victim over there. Okay. And then said the other victim and the suspect the caller. There it is. There it is. There it is. You said the guy that lives here is a deputy with Ben County? I don't know about if he lives here or not, but they said that the suspect's name is supposed to be Liam, I and if it is Liam, he, he is a deputy with Ben County. Okay. This doesn't really sound like a domestic, it sounds like a... It sounds like a battery, like... Yeah. I don't know if one of these is his girlfriend or some girl is just turning him down or something. Like uh, I'm probably good here. Do you want to run over to... So say you want to run over to Chad Holly real quick and figure out what's going on. What's going on tonight? I really need to talk to y'all. Huh? I really need to talk to y'all. Okay, that's what we're here for. Obviously, mm -hmm. okay. I'm really not that drunk, not really drunk at all. But he did drink a lot. Mm -hmm. We have been together for a while. I have been around him anytime he's drinking. I don't know what happened, but he just snapped and he lost control. Okay. He was around me and my friend. It looked like a different person. He. Where was this at? In the kitchen. It happened here. Oh, what? But listen, I have. My God, this is my aunt's house. My cousin, her son lives here. Uh -huh. He's like 30 something, but he's autistic. I don't want to scare him. Okay. Cops everywhere. But my boyfriend Liam is upstairs. He was going. I told him I didn't want him leaving because I didn't want him driving while he was drunk. Yeah. He, I don't, I don't know what's going on because I've never seen this before. He acts like a completely different person. Okay. He's up there, he just started crying. He was laying on the ground. Uh -huh. He fell on the ground. He went, before he came, before he went to the... So what, what did he do to you? So he shoved me whenever I was trying to calm him down and grab him and be like, stop, please stop. Uh -huh. He yelled at my friend in her face. <laughs> my friend ended up going across the street to my friend Bailey, which I assume... You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, we went upstairs. I told him, I was like, I really don't want you driving. He was just going to sleep in the garage. He was going to sleep in his car. I can't find his keys anywhere. Yeah. It's upstairs. And um, he went He went to go change, and he doesn't have any clothes on right now. And he's laying on the ground because he fell. Mm -hmm. And he, like, was mumbling stuff. And I asked him, I was like, what's wrong, you know? And he's just really crying. I don't know what he's doing anymore. Okay. I just, I don't know what's going on. Because he's not like this at all. Nothing like this. Okay. What? I'm up there right now. Are you worried because he's intoxicated, or are you worried that he might do something to you? No, I'm worried because he's acting really weird. He fell on the ground, and now he was just mumbling. Okay. <sighs> Um, tell me, tell me when all this began. We're going to go check on him in just a second, okay? Um, uh, but tell me when all this started. Like, well, how long have y'all been here? When did the party okay. start? We have been here since 6, okay? Been here since 6 p.m.? We met here at 6. He came here at 6, okay? Everything was fine. We had, we went to go eat dinner at Texas Roadhouse. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And you said y'all were having a party here for a Kevin 21st birthday party here? Yeah. For your who? For a cousin? Uh, and for my friend Bailey. And, um... Yeah, we had a party for here. We all went to Texas Roadhouse. We probably got here back around like 8.30, okay? Liam has drank, he's drinking whiskey. He drank a lot of that, I'm pretty sure. I wasn't exactly... So now y'all got back around 8.30? Yeah, we got back here at 8.30. I'm, it, I'm pretty sure it was, yeah, a little, little after 8.30. Um, Liam was drinking. I mean, he started drinking when he got here at 8.30. And it was whiskey, and he drank pretty much most of it. One person had a shot of it, was, but that was it. He had most of it. I obviously wasn't, like, watching him. He was outside with the guys, and I was... I thought I heard a thud. So you, Liam started drinking whiskey once y'all got back here? Okay, so <coughs> he's been drinking for a while. What happened after that? When did the was... when did the incident between y'all like? When did he just lose it? Hello. Hello. Are you Liam? I am Liam. Okay. Well, we're just trying to figure out what's going on tonight. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out too, man. Okay. Well, let me. Uh, will you step out here and talk to the officer for just a minute while yeah, I talk absolutely. to her? There you are, my baby brother. Let me go inside and talk for just a second. Yeah, let's go here in front of the garage. You don't have your gun on you or nothing, do you? No, sir. Okay. Okay. Just lean against the garage. I don't want you to fall down or anything. Right. So what's going on, man? Man, it's just been... I've just been staying too long, man, bro. You've been what? I've been staying too long. You've stayed too long? Yeah. Like, stayed too long here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've just been too much to drink, and I don't want to leave because yeah. I've been too much to drink. Yeah. And... <sighs> yeah, it's been too much, bro. Okay. That's your girlfriend, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, Michaela Sharp. Michaela. Okay. Did y'all get into like, an argument or something? Or... <laughs> yeah. Okay. You don't want to tell me about that? Uh, yeah, it's just been, um, long story short, it's been, uh, it's been months, um, obviously I've been more in control of my faculties, um, this is, uh, I've been, you know, in control what's happened, and um, she's been, we've been both, you know, at fault for what's been going on. You're talking about just like some relationship problems or something yeah, like that? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Um, and, uh, it's just been scary. You know, just, sometimes it's scary, obviously. I've, I'm a W at that kind of office. Mm. Um, and so it's, it's scary, you know, knowing what's going to happen here and, to my knowledge, I don't think anything's happened here as far as, like, you know, you know anything domestic. Um, but she's just been, you know, had some disagreements about what, you know, how she feels like, you know, her thoughts have been having. So it's her, her friend's birthday party, and um, we've been going to sleep. I've been woken up several times, mm -hmm. and um, I'm have had very much to drink. <laughs> if you can't tell, yeah. Um, so I've had several whiskeys, and her and her friends and her boyfriends have had several whiskeys. Um, so we've had drinks on the back patio, um, and then so her and her friend have stayed. They were gonna stay the night, and her and I were gonna go to bed. Um, and then apparently something happened at some point, and, um, I woke up, and everyone was pissed at me, and, um, I really don't know what happened, and you, I still really don't know what happened. Did you just black out or something? You don't remember it, or what you... I've, I've had a lot of this, man. 
Um, brother, I appreciate you. I appreciate you for some PD. Um, I'm not trying to, like, you know, shoot you straight or, you know, I'm, try, I'm, not, I'm not trying to fuck up the situation or whatever. Um, I had a lot of whiskey. I was planning on going to bed. I think I I fell asleep in the garage. Um, and then I see I was woken up and I was in the garage. She's coming to go upstairs. Get upstairs. And, um, so I was upstairs and then there's all of the problem upstairs. <clears throat> and, um, I really don't know what's going on, man. Um, last thing I know, um, so Bailey's birthday, she left. Mm -hmm. um, her and her boyfriend left. And so we left. Um, I was having a, her a conversation with Michaela, who's my girlfriend, mm -hmm. and Haley, who's her girlfriend. And we were just having a good conversation. Um, and then next thing I know, things started going south and south. And I really don't know what happened there. Um, and then next thing I know, Michaela was super pissed at me. Haley was, su Haley was super pissed at me. And, um, she was going upstairs, and so I was, I was sleeping in the garage, whatever. And, um, she didn't, she didn't want that. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll go upstairs. And so, uh, I went upstairs, and essentially passed out. Okay. Is, so is Haley the one that she left, right? I have no idea, man. Oh, you don't know where Haley went? Okay. Um, yeah, as far as that, so this is Michaela's aunt's house. Yeah. Um, I am Michaela's boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Um, and as far as I'm aware, <laughs> very reasonable, reason, reasonably that I'm going to stay here. Um, and Michaela or uh, Haley was going to stay here. Everyone was fine to stay here. Um, you know, Bailey and her boyfriend lived across the street at those apartments. Everyone was, was fine to stay here. Um, and so, basically, it just comes down to, I guess, you know, like, I had, I had some cigars, I had some whiskey, and, like, the, the bros were going to, you know, kind of stay on the back porch, we are going to smoke some cigars and have some whiskey. Um, and then, Michaela and Haley and I were in the kitchen. We're having some conversations. Everyone else had left. Michaela, Michaela and Haley and I had all had some conversations. And I was just kind of saying, like, where, where I was coming from. And I was just telling her that I love her. And Michaela and Haley and I were all on the same team. Right? I love Michaela. Mm -hmm. She's my girlfriend. And we want, we, I want to be on the same team with her. Um, and so, as far as I know, everything was fine. And then, next thing I know, Michaela was kind of waking me up. I was on the, I think I was on the um, garage floor. And she was like, hey, wake up. Like, you know, you need to come upstairs. You know, mm -hmm. um, I don't know what's wrong with you. Like, stuff's, you know, like, I don't know what the fuck's wrong wrong. And so, you just come upstairs with me. And so, okay, fine, whatever. I'm just like, I'm done with all the situation. This is super comp, you know. Everything's fucked up. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what your problem is. I don't know what her problem is. I don't know. You know, I'm not good to drive, obviously, so I'm not going to leave. Um, so I'll just come upstairs. I'll leave, and then we can figure it out in the morning. And if you want to bring up me in the morning, we can leave in the morning, you know. Um, so next thing I know, I was up in the morning, and then I woke up. Um, she was like, somebody rang the doorbell. And so I was like, that doesn't make sense. And I was like, did Haley call the police? And so I was like, all right, well, fine, I'll go downstairs and see what's going on. And so then, and here we are. Okay. So. And well, it was Bailey's birthday party, right? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, yeah, I guess. Well, I hadn't been inside, so I guess they left. I don't know. So. Yeah, as, as far as I know, they left probably approximately like an hour ago. Her and her boyfriend left about an hour ago. Okay. And you don't, you don't, know, you don't remember why they got mad at you or anything? Um, Bailey and her boyfriend left, Bailey's boyfriend has a triathlon in the morning, Yeah. so they kind of have their own thing going on, 
um, as far as Bailey and her boyfriend, or Bailey and um, Haley, I don't know exactly what's going on with them. Um, they were saying that I'd be an asshole, and like, I'm just being completely outrageous and unreasonable, and um, at this point I'm just kind of like, I don't know what the fuck's going on, I just want to go to sleep, and we'll figure this out in the morning. Okay. Maybe issue of not handling your liquor very well or something like that, maybe? Yeah, kind of everyone, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was kind of like, like, I came down here with the, so I live in Benton County. I'm the mm-hmm. Benton County Deputy Sheriff's Office. I'm not trying to say that to get out of anything. Um, but I came down here with the full intention of, like, Mikhail's my girlfriend, I love her very much. Um, and I kind of came down here with the intention of, we had, you know, planned on having this full night. We planned on everything that was happening, and everything was going to be fine. I was going to crash here, and then in the morning, we were going to go back up to Northwest Arkansas. We were going to go see my mom. We are going to have a whole, a whole planned up, up by Northwest Arkansas. So, okay. you know, this whole situation has just kind of gotten out of hand. Yeah. Obviously. Okay. Well, I don't know what he has going on. I guess they went inside, so. Maybe he'll be done shortly. Have y'all been together long? Yeah, well, we've been together um, over, well over a year. Uh, it's kind of been on and off. Um, she's been, uh, you know, we've had our ups and downs. Just like any relationship. But uh, we're in a pretty good position right now, as far as I knew. So, but I am absolutely in no position to drive, so... Yeah, where's your vehicle at? It's in the garage. Oh, it's in there? Okay. How long have you worked for Benton County? A little over a year. A little over a year? Is that the first agency you worked at? No, sir, I worked for Rogers Rogers. PD for a little over a year as well. So, I worked for both of them. You work with Zach Martin? Yes, sir, yeah. He used to work here. Yeah, yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah, he works on, uh, so I work um, Tuesday through Friday, Monday through, or like um, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., and he works from uh, 3 p.m. to um, 11 p.m., I think, so yeah, he's a good dude. Yeah, we, he was in the academy before me, but I think he got hurt or something, so he finished up the last half of the academy with me, so. Yeah, they got Tahoes and Chargers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just stupid to you know, be out on this sometime, man. Yeah, I live in uh, Stone Manor. Apartments in uh, Rogers, and there's a uh, Fort Smith, I guess that was Fort Smith cop that lives, I guess, was so, in there. Female? So, yeah, female. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I just don't, uh, I don't really get it, man. I go just uh, go to sleep, and then I've been looking up like twice, so. Well. I mean, once it's probably because you're using the garage, but, I mean, I know how it is. I mean, that's where you want to sleep, that's where you want to sleep, but. Well, yeah, it's just been kind of a, it's been kind of a cluster point, you know? Yeah, it's just kind of obviously embarrassing and just kind of frustrating because we've been, you know, kind of having problems as it's been and it sort of seems silly to. So. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, I know that's super common, but. Well, maybe we'll get it wrapped up soon.
Is that a, do you know if it's a 22 or 23? The white one, I think, is a 20, 22 or 23. Right when they change the body style to that, like that bigger version. Yeah. And then the other ones, they, they're they just kind of sporadic throughout the years. I don't know. The, the one in the back is the older one. It's probably, well, it's got like 100,000 miles on it. So. Yeah. yeah. I've got a 21 right now. And uh, 2019 before I went to, I went to counting. Okay. Well, I mean, I would prefer to leave okay, it here if you don't mind. I'll try to keep it down for you, okay? Okay. So, he got here, or y'all got back from Texas Roadhouse around 8.30. He started drinking whiskey. What, what happened to lead up to the point where this became much more than what it was? It switched. We had a good time. He was meeting his normal self. Uh-huh. We were sitting over at the counter, and this is pretty much when everyone left. Okay? What time did everybody leave? I want to say it was it was it was after ten thirty. Okay. Definitely after closer to eleven. Um, we were sitting, we were sitting there, we were having a good conversation, it was like we were all kind of bonding, it was mm. my friend and him, and we were all having a good conversation. Hey, your friend Bailey? Haley. Haley. She's, she was here, but oh. she's over at hey, Bailey's now. Alright, so who all, who all was here when all this occurred? Me, Liam, Robbie, that's my cousin, he's uh-huh. in his room, um, and then Haley, okay. she is over across the street, she left. So was was Bailey here? No. So it was you, Haley, Liam, your cousin Robbie. Yeah. Was it R O B B I E? And who else? You have Robbie, me, Haley, mm-hmm. and Liam. Yep. Okay. So y'all were just hanging out in the kitchen after everyone left. Yeah, we were hanging out in the kitchen. We were having, we were talking, okay? Then me and my friend kind of had a side conversation. Liam was right there. (laughs) And he just, like, he snapped. He was like, he told us both to, like, shut the F up and, like, just (coughs) got really mad. And we were, I mean, we were kind of laughing. We were kind of, we didn't know what to think. We were just kind of nervously laughing, like, is this a joke? And he just kept on, he kept on yelling, he was like, no, this is so funny, and... You said Liam just suddenly snapped? Suddenly snapped. Okay. And what did he say? He told y'all to what? He told us to shut the fuck up. He told you and who? Who Haley. Yeah. Haley? Okay. So he tells you to shut up. Told me to shut up. And I was laughing. I was like, Liam, what is going on with you? Like, you know, what's going on? And he kind of like, I don't want to say he smacked me, but he just kind of pushed my head. And um, then that's when me and my friend were like, okay, like, what is going on? You know, my friend got very defensive. She started yelling. She so was you like, thought he was kind of joking around at first? Well, I didn't think he was joking around because I've never seen him be that way, yeah. you know? But I was just, whenever, whenever you said you were he, kind of laughing, though, like... Yeah, like, before he had pushed my head, me and my uh-huh. friend looked at, we were kind of laughing before that, whenever he was like, shut the fuck up, because you we were like, uh, because it was so random. We were talking about nothing, that anything that he could have been upset about. Then he pushes my head, and so me and my friend are like, uh, she starts getting very defensive. Where did he push your head at? Just, he just kind of did that over there. I was sitting on the bar stool. And did he it hurt? I mean, were you hurt by it or anything? No, I've, okay. I promise I'm, I'm not hurt. Um, you don't have any injuries or anything? No, I don't. Was it like a forceful or just kind of like a... I mean, I'm, I don't, I don't want to get him in trouble because I know it's it. Well, it I, mean, I need forced. to be honest with me, okay? It was, he did a help force with it. Okay. 
So he just kind of pushes you in the head just one time? Yeah, he did it that one time. That's when I was like, you know, I was like, Liam, you need to calm down. He was telling us both. He was like, no, get the fuck outside. Get the fuck outside. And he started pouring, pointing towards the back door. <laughs> and me and Amy were like, no, like, we're not going anywhere. Like, we were just, we were very, like. Was he was yelling at y'all? No, yeah, he was being really loud. So, I mean, he was yelling at y'all to go outside? Okay, so then what happened? So, <coughs> so after he yelled at us, yeah, like, when he go outside, we were like, no, and I think, I think that's after he was, like, pointing, he was like, no, y'all go outside. He's not making any sense when mm -hmm. he's talking. I, like, grabbed his arm, because I was like, Liam, what's going on? And he did shove me whenever I grabbed his arms. Okay. And no, it didn't hurt me, but it was a forceful shove. So you tried to ask him what was going on? Yeah. <clears throat> you said, where did he shove you at? In the kitchen. I mean, like, did he shove you, like, on the side? Did he shove you in the chest? I think it was, like, on my on the shoulder. Back? Uh, like, right here. Okay. It's kind of like that. And how, I mean, like, how do you shove you? Just, like, one hand, two hands? I think it was just one hand. Okay. You said it was forceful? Forcefully? Yeah. I mean, did you fall over? Did you lose your balance? I did fall. You fell down? Even, okay. Like, I kind of fell, like, on the ground like that. Like, I kind of rolled. You said you grabbed him, though? You grabbed... Yeah, I, like, kind of touched him. I was like, Liam, what's going on with you? We, okay. Like, trying to go for him in a way, which I guess wasn't good. So you just kind of grabbed at his arms when you asked that? I, I was not at all, like, <laughs> at all, like, aggressive towards him. I was just trying to, like, ask him what was wrong. And say so you then pushed you in the shoulder? Yeah. Okay. You said it caught him, caused him, caused you to fall down on the ground in the kitchen? And then what happened? Okay, so after that, you know, me and my friends are work like me and Haley are both working. <coughs> up. We're like, okay, what is going on? Haley is getting super defensive because she just saw me get pushed. Mm -hmm. At one point, I know that we were walking this way. I don't know if he was trying to get smacked. Yeah, he was trying to leave. That's what he was doing. He was trying to come upstairs to get his stuff so he could leave. And I was like. No, like, you can't leave. You've been drinking. You were way too drunk. Mm -hmm. Haley was kind of doing this with the door right there. And I know that he got up in her. Like, he was, she was whatever. trying to keep him from coming upstairs? Or yeah. yeah. Well, he was trying to leave at that point. Yeah. He was trying to leave at that point? Or he, he was trying to come upstairs? He was trying to come upstairs to get his stuff to leave. <clears throat> so, he, I mean, did he say, I'm going to go upstairs and get my keys? Yeah, he or said he... that, you know what, F this, I'm leaving, I'm done, we're done. He kept saying that to me. Um, so, I came upstairs. Obviously, Haley was, like, following me, and she was being, very, like, she was yelling a lot, and I just, like, I just told her I need everything to be calm so I can figure out what's going on. So, after, after he pushes you down, what did he do after that, though? After he pushed me down, it was just kind of a bunch of other things. He was yelling at Haley. Haley was kind of getting very defensive, kind of getting in his face to kind of, because she was getting mad, like, don't touch her. That's not okay. Like, that is not okay at all. So Liam was yelling at her? Yeah, I was yelling a lot. That both of you or just her? No, both of us. And you said Haley was being defensive because he pushed you down? Okay. So he, that's when he said he was going to leave? Yeah. 
Let's see, so that's when he started to walk out of the kitchen? Yes. And then he comes up to my room. Well, you, hang on. Okay. So, is that when Haley tried to block him? Yeah. At some point, he did. Yeah, he did end up coming. Yeah, after that. Well, you said Haley was. You said Haley was standing in the doorway. Yeah, she was blocking over here, and after he had, because he yelled at her, she told me that he had grabbed her hair. I am being completely honest. I personally didn't see it, but I'm thinking it was when they were that close over there. Okay. So Haley was trying to block the doorway, and y'all were telling him he couldn't leave. Yeah. Because he had been drinking? Yeah. Haley was, she was blocking the doorway and she was also trying to make sure, like, she didn't want us to get close because she was scared that he was going to, like, hit. Okay, where were you at this time? You, you said you had fallen down in the kitchen. Yeah, so I was on the other side of the wall. I had fell down on the kitchen. We had gotten up and we were just kind of walking back and forth, trying to get him to calm down. I'm on the, I come over here. Because I'm on the other, like right by that chair, Haley's walking, he's in front of her. Okay, so Haley's blocking that little entryway between the kitchen and the, and the living room. You were in the living room, he was in the kitchen still, so she was trying to prevent yeah. him from coming in here to you? Okay. Yeah, and... I guess coming upstairs too. All right, you said that's when he got in her face and started yelling at her. Okay. So he's yelling at Haley. She's blocking you from from him coming in here. Yes. Okay. This is after he said, I'm, I'm going to leave. Okay. So then you said you were trying to tell him he, could, he didn't need to leave because he'd been drinking? Yeah. I had been telling him that the whole time. I was like, if you not need to leave, you've been drinking. I told him that he could sleep in my room. I would sleep in the guest room, but like nothing needs to happen until in the morning. Okay, so he pushes you down, she's blocking you, you tell him he doesn't need to leave, he's been drinking, then he goes, then what happened, you say he went upstairs? Yes, he did come upstairs. Okay. And I had followed him, and Haley was wanting to come up here too, but she was, you know, like... She had every right to be, but she was just yelling a lot, and she was crying really loud, and I just told her that I need to calmly talk to him. What? So she went out on the patio. Okay. So you said Haley was still upset? Yeah, she was, yeah, and like hysterically crying. And obviously I was crying too, but I was a lot more calm. Alright, so she went outside. She went outside. I went into the room. I asked Liam. Hang on. So she went outside. You said you came upstairs to talk to Liam and talk to Liam as he was upstairs in your room? Yeah, he was. Okay. You go upstairs to talk to Liam, what happened? So I kind of come up to him and I'm like, Liam, what is going on? I'm so confused. I've never seen this before. <coughs> and he just starts denying everything, seeing that he never did any of those things. Because he asked me, he was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, do you not remember shoving me and pushing my head back? And he just kept denying it, and he's like, I didn't do that, I didn't do that. And he's like, slurring his words, not making any sense, doubling around.
Okay, so he's uh-huh. coming around, slurring his word. Mm-hmm. So then what happened? I kept asking. It was just kind of the same thing back and forth. I was like, Liam, I'm so confused. What's going on with you? What made you do this? You know, and he just keeps starting to leave. And I'm like, you can't leave. You're too drunk. And then, um, I think I came came back down here because I wanted to check on Haley. Mm -hmm. And she was back there. And, um... I talked to her and I told her, I was like, I just need to talk to him calmly. I think he was still upstairs. He didn't come down. Then I came up here. So you went up there one time to talk to Liam. Came, back, came back, back down here to check, go on, check Haley. on Haley at the patio. And then you went back up there and talked to him again. Yeah, I went back there. I went back up there to talk to him. Mm-hmm. I think he was like going to the bathroom or something. I didn't say anything to him. He had the door shut. He told me not to come in there. So I didn't. Um... And so, Haley, I think she had came back up the stairs to see, no, after he had gone out of the bathroom, he came back down here to talk to Haley. Mm-hmm. They see, like from what I heard, they seem like it was kind of a civil conversation. Liam was like, I don't know what I did. I don't know what's going on. So- Liam was still upstairs, or no, you No, Liam here? walked down here to talk to Haley. I was still upstairs. Okay. I heard it was a pretty civil conversation. Uh huh. Okay. But then I started hearing yelling. Haley was yelling at him, like, "Don't act like you don't know what you just did. You're not going to sit here, you know, hit my best friend, just stuff like that." Um. Thirty-seven dispatch. Good. So Liam comes down and starts talking to Haley. Uh-huh. Then what happened? Right, I don't have any he comes on here, starts talking to Haley. From what I hear from upstairs, it sounds like a civil conversation. I uh-huh. hear Liam like, what is going on? I don't know what I did to you. Haley's like, you know, I know you're drunk, but this isn't okay. Don't act. Don't. D-. She kept saying, don't lie what you did. Okay. So was, you said it was a civil, civil conversation at first, and then it got heated? Uh, north uh, yeah. Okay, it got heated. Yes. All right, and then what happened? Okay, so it got, yeah, it got heated down there because Haley was like, don't lie, don't act like you don't know what you just did. Liam came back up here. We were all upstairs. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I was in my room where me and Haley are both crying. I'm like, you know, this isn't okay. I don't know what I don't know why you don't remember this. Like, don't act like you don't remember what you just did. It's just me and him. I told Haley, I was like, just go back downstairs because she was yelling a lot. And I just knew it wasn't making anything better. So I told her, just go back downstairs. So I think she went to the guest room or she went back outside. Yeah, so I thought they were downstairs talking. Yeah, they were downstairs talking. Mm-hmm. So that I, got heated. That got heated. Okay. Liam was walking back upstairs where I think he was probably coming to like get his keys because he kept saying he was done. Okay. So, so Liam, we're all upstairs. Liam comes upstairs and then Haley comes Haley's upstairs too? Him because she didn't want him coming up there while I'm alone. It's okay. So... The conversation between Haley and Liam got heated. Yes. Liam comes upstairs, but Haley followed him. Haley follows him. It's Liam and then it's Haley. They're both walking up. They get into my room. Okay, they came into your room? They came into my room. And it was just... Her and Liam were talking. And he was like... He was basically just saying, he was like, you know... I, we were all having a good civil conversation, and then it just completely took a turn. Mm-hmm. And me and Haley were like, yeah, it did. We don't know what happened. He just kept he kept saying that we were being cunts and we were being bitches, and that's what he was saying. But none, I don't, none of that happened. There was nothing said for him to get upset about. There was nothing. So y'all tried to talk to him, and he was yeah. still being upset, like, blurring with y'all? Yeah. And whenever we did talk to him upstairs, he did, he wasn't yelling. Like, he wasn't yelling, he was... When he was calling your names, he wasn't yelling? No, he just said that we were being constant. Okay. Yeah. Okay.
Hi, coming from it. Sorry, that took a while. I was getting, uh, you're getting all the statement. Who are you? What's he telling you? So, he heard the same thing. Come here for a party, whatever it is, his girlfriend. Um, he said that they, I guess the girl's boyfriends, and him were in the, on the back, smoking some cigars, drinking some whiskey. Uh -huh. uh, the party continued for a while. And then he says after that, he, he says he's extremely drunk. He got real drunk. Yeah. And then he says that, uh, he just, was gonna go to sleep in the garage. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. He got woke up in the garage and everybody was mad at him. But he doesn't remember why anyone's mad at him or anything in that time period. He doesn't want to elaborate. Yeah. And then he just says he went upstairs after that and tried to go to bed again and then he really showed up a little bit after. But okay. I kept talking to him, you know, you know what I'm mad at you, what happened, whatever. And he's like, I don't know. Yeah. So there's just like, everything that happened before is the exact same as she told us. And there's a gap in the middle. And then everything after. Yeah. Right. So the gap in the middle is just water, I guess. She says it was, it was her, her cousin Robbie, the her friend Haley. It was just them four hanging out in the kitchen uh, after the party was over, and she's like, he just snapped and like uh, told him to be quiet. And then all of a sudden, uh, she kind of she's like, I was kind of you know we we're kind of laughing because we we're like we didn't know where that came from, you know. So then he shoves her in the head. And at one point, um, pushing her down on the kitchen. So, mm -hmm. we'll just go ahead and do domestic assault. Yeah, I mean, they don't have to. Hmm. Yeah. Really got to it. Um, he, I mean, he did say they were having like relations. He said they were having like relationship problems or whatever. And he came down here and they were planning on talking about it. Whatever. I guess he said they've been having a lot of ups and downs and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. She said that, uh, just kind of laughed a little bit because, you know, it was so, uh, <clears throat> random. And then, uh, that's when he pushed her in the head one time. She didn't have any injuries. She didn't have any injuries at all, uh, including her. So then, uh, he started yelling. All of a sudden, he just started, you know, they're trying to tell him to calm down. He started yelling for him to go outside. And then, uh, she's like, I tried to ask him what was so going on. And she's like, I'm trying to grab him by the arms. I'm like, what's going on somebody in my And that's when he pushed him and caused her to fall down. So. And then, uh, she was like, she was scared of him. She was crying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll just go ahead and go, uh, I'll go 15 for the message. And if three. you would, when we're done here, go talk to the other, the other girl. Because she'll be a witness. Okay. And she may end up being a victim of a probably an assault or battery or something. I would say probably assault. Okay. So, alright. Alright, Liam, do me a favor. Go ahead and stand up for me, okay? Oh, boy. Go ahead and put your hands behind your head. You lock your fingers. Behind your head. Behind your head. Thank you. Spread your feet. Right now you're being placed under arrest for domestic assault, okay? In the third degree. Yes, sir. You don't have anything on you, right? No, sir. No. Do you have any shoes inside? Uh, somewhere. Somewhere? I'm not sure, okay. sir. Well, we're going to go ahead and walk out to my car, and we'll see okay. if we can get them for you, okay? Yes, sir. Anything else you need inside? Uh, you cell my phone phones. Anything? I've got my work phone and my personal phone. Okay. Well, we'll see if she'll give those to you. That way they can be putting your property down at the jail, okay? Okay. We're going to go to that white car right in front, all right? Okay. I don't mean to... Uh, I'm just holding on to you because I, yeah, uh, I don't want you to fall down. I've okay? had quite a bit of rain. I so. understand. Right up here. Y'all have uh, both my phones, sir. Uh, I don't know yet. We'll ask her for your property, okay? Okay.
5 to 13. He's advising he has uh, two cell phones in there. Will you grab those as well? Liam, your last name is Carey, correct? Yes, sir. C A R E Y? Yes, sir. Okay, what's your date of birth? And what's your social? So his gun is still in there? I'm assuming that it's Benton County's gun. So we need to call, I mean, they already know that we're out here with him because I had dispatch to call to confirm he was a deputy. Benton County knows we're out with him? Yeah, okay. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, we gotta let him know that he's arrested for a domestic. I mean, he can't yeah. have a gun and go to work with that. Yeah, we probably need to, uh... You just get a hold of like a supervisor on duty or something up there? And... Well, if she's saying it's his gun, I don't probably know. need to go ahead and just take it and put it in evidence for safekeeping. Yeah. I don't and know if it's his or if it's been County. It's not. Yeah. Well, I'll ask him here in a second. Okay. As you're, I'm going to put this in your front floorboards, all right? Is this phone's in his shoes? Yeah. You got a uh, Lord's Law card on you? Yeah. Nah, it's back there. Which hospital do you go to? Field Park Mercy. What do they end up having over there on Elm Pike? I don't know if it's a fatality or a serious injury accident, but a car drove like through a church. I know, but did you not hear them as we were coming out here? They said it looked like there's bullet holes in the airbag. Oh, I didn't hear that yeah. part. I was on channel three coming out here just talking to dispatch about trying to figure out if he was actually a tip here. Five station CFS number, please. Five six six two eight five six six two eight. Right. Can you just hang out with my car for a minute? I'm gonna go ask her these questions. Okay. Are you gonna wait to ask about the gun? Man? I'll do that real quick. That way she can get it for me when I go back in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, the other girl that's over over there is a friend, so it's not going to be a domestic. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'll call it her again. And I will, unfortunately, I am going to have to have you just send me a little short supplement. That's fine. What he told you. Because am I looking for Bailey or Haley? Because I think Haley. Both of them. Haley. And then Bailey. Is Bailey's the, the caller. I think Bailey was the caller. So they probably both seen it then, right? I don't know. I don't. Bailey wasn't here. I don't believe. Bailey was a friend that came and picked up Haley. Okay. And from my understanding, if that's what I got correctly out of her. Well, I think she came back. She might have been here to begin with, but then she came back. Because Mackenzie told me it was Mackenzie, Robbie, which is her cousin in there. Zero yeah. four on pink. Liam and Haley. Okay. Hey Liam. Yes, sir. I understand you have a firearm inside the house, correct? I think I have two. You think you have two firearms? Yep. Okay. Do they belong to you, or they belong to Ben They're County? Both me. They both belong to uh, you well, personally. One's Ben County and one's mine. One's yours? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to leave them here? Do you want to leave your the personal one here? Do you want us to take them with uh, us I'd and like put them into evidence for, for safety? Neither one of them here to be. Huh? I like neither one of them here. You don't want either one of them here, right, sir? Okay. I well, I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to retrieve them. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take them with us. Okay. And I'm going to take them over to the police department. I'm going to put them into evidence for safekeeping. Okay. Okay. Yeah. As far as I know, one should be in my glove department in my personal vehicle, which is in the garage. Uh, it's a white Nissan Altima. Okay. And then the other one should be so that should be the department issued firearm with the a badge one in the glove box. Yes, sir. Okay. And then the uh, hey, personal firearm should be hey, in her room. Um, I don't know where it is. I haven't heard to put it in there somewhere. Okay. And you give us consent to get it out of your car? Sure. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I've got uh, cigars in the backyard too, which are mine. Yeah, well, we're not going to mess with those. Uh, sure. My main concern is your firearms, sure. okay? Alright.